All right, guys. So exciting thing, right very here. Exciting. Very exciting, my son says. <laughs> I've got egg number one of my bush sulfur right there. It's so tiny that you can barely see it. That sulfur is so eggs. Exciting. Hi, guys. David Fine here from Keys Moz. Today we are raising a very rare tropical butterfly from South Florida. Very, very, very few people have ever seen a bush sulfur, Eurema dina. We were able to find a couple females on the side of the road at a place in down, you know, Bra uh, Dade County, way down south in the Redlands where sometimes they cross the road. It's very hard to find these things. And we were able to find some females and I've got a host plant sitting in my yard for 10 years. Guys, I set the females up for eggs and they are laying eggs. So we're gonna raise the bush sulfurs together. Guys, check this video out. As we raise one of South Florida's most hard to find and tropical beauties, check it out. All right, here's what we did, guys. Um, in this container, we just got impact windows. So it's been a little weird. But in this container, we have a live female Eurema Dina, the bush sulfur. And so I've had her in here for about two days. I have not had time to make any videos because I've had construction in my house, but she's been alive for two days. I'm gonna feed her and we are gonna check and see if she's given us any eggs. This is Procramnia, one of their native host plants. Uh, the water picks are all the way sucked dry. So we gotta really care for these guys and see what we can do to make sure that we Take care for the eggs that she's laid, if any. And uh, gosh, um, I wish I had um, um, like a rearing thing out here, like a cage, a big screening uh, enclosure, but I don't. So what I do is I tape a paper towel on the top of the container. And the reason I do that is so that we can control humidity. Uh, this, if I put this container on, this is sealed and I keep it like this, as you can see, it starts to sweat and the container gets too humid, which it is right now. And I got to alleviate some of that humidity because it's, it's actually not good for what we're trying to accomplish here. But the, what we do is the paper towel. What I can do is I can take this, the top off and the evaporation will go through the paper towel and it will allow things to dry out a little bit. But what we're gonna do right now is, we're not gonna worry too much about that. We are gonna dig in and see if we can find any eggs on this on these brand new Procramnia leaves. These are tiny, tiny, tiny little eggs. When I say they're small, guys, you have no idea how tiny these little eggs are. I've got a spider hanging from my hand. There he is. Yeah, that's not good when you're trying to raise baby butterflies. I'm gonna try and take these things out. One at a time here. I'm gonna put this new one in. This is, actually has a cup with water in it. And we are going to set her back up for egg laying. Just like that. Okay, she's good to go. All right, I'm 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 gonna take care of her. I'm actually gonna feed her later. But the first thing we gotta do is look for eggs, guys. So that's what we're gonna do right now. You know, the bush sulfur is one that I haven't seen in like, I don't know, 16, 17 years. I haven't really been looking for them. But about 13 years ago, I bought this Procramnia tree, put it in my yard with hopes one day of finding a female bush sulfur. It used to be a little bit more widespread in Dade County and Monroe County down in Florida Keys, but it really has disappeared largely. And it's probably a couple of main strongholds are in Bower Hammock and in, um, I think they're in Costello Hammock in Dade County and all, as well as the Deering Estate. But other than that, guys, they are very hard to find. We found them in a little vacant lot right next to a little tiny sliver of hammock in Dade County, which I'm going to remain um, undisclosed where we found them. But uh, 
for the sake of this video, guys, I'm excited because it's a butterfly that I have not had the privilege of seeing in a very long time, and I can't wait to document the life cycle for the very first time. So we've got a handful of eggs, guys. Let's see what else we can find here. All right, we definitely have an egg there. We have an egg there, right there. I've got an egg there. Yeah, so she's definitely not like going crazy. Sulfur eggs are very, 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 very small, guys. And so uh, I wish I had better video capabilities with my phone. I do not. But what I can do, oh, there we go. That's not too bad. What I can do is take some pictures with my big Canon camera and show them to you. What I do see, guys, on the tips of the little new little growth tips on these plants, I see little eggs dropped right here. She's giving us a few, like there's, there's an egg on top of that leaf. And so, yeah, so I'm seeing in this container, guys, I'm probably seeing around around a dozen a dozen and a half eggs she's been in there for two days she probably doesn't have the best conditions it's been raining it's actually raining right now uh it's been raining for two days and i've had construction in my house and i've been working for the last two days so it's tough guys to really do this the right way unless you're giving some constant care and you have the right conditions but guys we're gonna put these eggs in these little cups we're gonna wait for them to hatch we're gonna see if we can get some more eggs from this bush sulfur and then we are going to uh try and document the life cycle for you so guys all right guys what i wanted to do is i wanted to show you guys the urema drawer that that i have these are all uremas that exist in the united states and i love uremas because they are absolutely stunning and we actually have quite a few different ones right here in the United States and actually quite a few of them down here in South Florida. Uh, our more common larger Urema is Urema nisipi, the sleepy sulfur, but that's not what we're right here. Right here, guys, is Urema dina. The males are the brighter orange ones on the left and the females are the lighter, kind of like more of lemony yellow coloration, the ones on the right, and they've got that peach colored little section on the hind wing. Uh, but that's the, that's the bush sulfur, Urema dina. These were all taken 20 something years ago. Uh, but um, I'm looking forward to raising these guys and showing you the life cycle of this beautiful South Florida tropical. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until next time, guys, let's get out there and explore and find what we can in South Florida. Love small sulfur butterfly eggs. Take care now. Bye.